Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today, 17th April. Nifty closed yesterday at 22.147 and Bank Nifty at 47.484. I will not be available during this weekend, so thought of giving a midweek update. And as usual, we will discuss what we are analyzed from the past week and what has happened during this two days. See, this is a general update. One of our friend has asked that all news channels talking about war would technical analysis and Elliot ways work that time? Share your thoughts. See, we already discussed that 22780 can be the resistance on 4th April. If you find the video, we have discussed that two weeks before. And no war news that time. Top is exactly 22775. What we expected was 22,780 and the exact top was 22,775 and the price reached almost I think 2200, right? Yeah, 2200. So, understanding Elliott wave will give definitely the clue in advance what may happen, the probability. See, 100% we cannot identify the exact top and low or what may happen in future, but the probability is high in Elliott waves. Okay, this is one such example for that. Right. On 15th April, after the market has, I expected that a pause or sideways to recovery. See, I think this candle. This candle is the end of 15th April. So, the price stops at this point at 15th April. Expected sideways to recovery. Yes. But at the same time, the price not reached the expected retracement. I will explain this. So, need to check how the price bouncing and should decide one more low is pending or not. The price not made a bounce. Actually, I expected some sort of bounce and uh, some lower, but the next day even confirms that gap down and went lower. On 16th April, on 9.39, when the price was getting support at 61.8% and trading around 20 to 200. I said the price getting support at 61.8%. See, 61.8% of this entire rise and the channel bottom. Okay, and the channel bottom. Need to see the bounce here. See, I said the word bounce only because there are chances of one more low or slightly lower low. See, the reason is, see the fall. See, in every fall, you need to find a Elliott wave structure. Then only the price will complete the structure, whether it is a corrective or impulse. In this wave, it seems to be uh, the end has been not placed here. Okay. So that's why I said I expected one more low is possible. And uh, this is the point 61.8%. After that, the price made a one more low. And that too, we identify that level. When the price was around 22, 127, some sort of incompleteness in the decline. It is on the same day, yesterday. So, possibly we are near the end of minor wave 3 only. The price may get support around 22, 200. But if it goes below it, need to check between 22, 80 to 22, 50. And uh, yesterday's the low was, you can see here, 22,000. You can see this uh, low point here. 22,080. Okay, but actually it was 22,079. So, whatever the expected level was 22,080 to 50 and price exactly stopping here for now. So, what we may expect in coming days. See, the price exactly got supported 22,080 and I am expecting a bounce. See, the incompletion is my primary assumption is all these are wave 3. As of now, I'm assuming like this. So I'm expecting a wave four to this level, approximately 20 to 310 to 385. We need to see because we cannot anticipate now itself. We need to watch the price action when the price nears this zone. So I'm just giving a heads up. If the price moves higher, we need to think that there's a possibility of wave four and uh, rejection and one more lower. This is one possibility. Either three completed here or one more lower to 22,050 range and it may move higher. So, in any case, 
we need to check how the price reacts in this bounce okay around 22 300 to 22 385 maybe this gap zone but remember for example if we assume that all the five waves has been completed here okay this is also possible but this is second option anyway we are getting a bounce that is what i am expecting now in both situations we may expect some pause or a pullback or recovery in this two days so if this is the case see the retracement level this gap zone exactly 50 percent and 61.8 percent so this will post an important price action zone we need to see how the price moves here right this will decide the further course of action but anyway we will discuss in next week but i am just giving an idea so even though if the all five years are completed here we need to see how the price reacts in this gap my primary assumption is it will come lower before that before reaching that gap level i think the price may come lower one more time and may move higher but anyway i'm just giving an idea so this gap zone exactly fits in the 50 percent and 61 percent we need to see how the price moves in that zone next week right so the primary assumption is we are still in wave 3 that's why i said here so possibly we are in end of minor wave 3 only that is like this so this is what my primary expectation now let's see just giving an idea what will happen if this is the first wave in decline for that we need to identify whether the fifth wave ended here or here if it is ended here it can be a b c but this high is above this top so this can be expanded flat but the c wave of expanded flat will not move like this or mostly will not move this distance so i assume the wave 5 ended here and uh, if this is wave 1 and wave 2 i need to see how the price bounce happening here that's the most important way if it is just one way of decline there are other chances but anyway for the everything we need to see how the price crosses this zone 4 and 5 and crossing here or 4 and 5 a b c does not cross here and fall back again so anything may happen in coming weeks but for the next two days expecting some bounce to reach this level right so this is the update on nifty and if it happens a corrective pattern for example a b c we need to change this uh, count but anyway we will discuss if it happens we don't want to think now primarily we assume some sort of consolidation and may start moving higher so in bank nifty also yes there is uh, possibility of incompletion see the gaps and uh, i believe still the wave is not completed here so if it gives a bounce we need to check whether 47 876 maybe 47 872 48000 68 or 50 that zone i mark this level it may go higher to this zone and may fall back again because if i take this retracement level the 61 percent comes here approximately 40,050. so as of now i guess it moves here as a higher chance of coming one more lower to this level what is this uh, 47 265 and if not supports one more low so this is the expectation now so we will check how the price bounces here in thursday and friday then we decide the next course of action even if the price moves higher check for this gap level same like nifty right okay in a small cap see remember uh, we are in last week we discussed that the price may stop at this point see i draw this line and i will uh, share the clip which we discussed in previous week and the price exactly stopping here so i'm expecting some sort of resistance between 16 430 to 16 650 approximately this zone 
some sort of resistance and I believe this is not the end of this impulse. So the price can move like this. Okay. In this way we can move and the price may touch the channel high. Right. As we discussed, the price is stopping here and one more lower hand, it may reach the top end of this channel. That is the higher possibility. So if Nifty and Bank Nifty moves on correction, what is the possibility? I think it is away 1, 2, 3, 4 and you have some space in 38.2%. So the small cap may move some sideways action if Nifty Bank Nifty moves on correction. Please understand. If Nifty and Bank Nifty moves on corrective phase, the broader markets may move sideways or little lower to 15,775. Right? See, the corrective patterns are three waves. We need to see a three wave correction. So, that is the process. So, I don't want to anticipate. So, I follow the process. So, until that, I wait. So, I may expect a corrective pattern, a sideways pattern here or one more lower to 15,775 if the bank nifty nifty moves on correction. So that's the idea. So but anyway I expecting after a decline it will move higher to touch the channel top. In mid cap see the exact uh, resistance level. I think uh, I share this level when the price moves here. I will share that clip also. And in mid cap 150 also it seems like in minor third only and it is ABC. And possible resistance may come around 18670 zone. So we need to check without a decline, if the price moves here, we need to check whether it gets some resistance or not. Right. We just saw that we identified this level also as a resistance and the price is retracing. Most probably it's a fourth wave and wave two is a uh, deeper so 38 percent is mostly sufficient for this completion and it already reaches and it's moving sideways that's what if nifty and mag nifty moving on sideways or corrective phase the broader markets mid cap 150 and small cap may take some sort of a sideways action and possibly one more high that is what the expectation now so let's see nifty uh, leave this uh, abc ideas now for the next two days, we may expect some sideways here or a pullback to this level. This is what my expectation now. Then we decide on weekends or, uh, or next week based on the new price action, we may decide whether the correction is over or some sort of uh, correction may still may develop. So this is the update I want to share with you. If you want to learn the Elliott wave in more practical and usable format, you can right away subscribe my channel and you all know that I am releasing my own Elite Wave course coming Friday and if you want to register it, you can register on Friday or coming days after exploring the contents and description. So the course will be released on Friday. I received many uh, messages. Thanks for all your support. Trade safe. Take care. Bye.